I remove corrosion or rust from all kinds of parts in the aircraft itself, and I paint it to help prevent it from happening again. We got C-130 main landing gear wheels. The paint was messed up. After a while, the wheels paint deteriorates, and so when metal is exposed, it has a high likely chance of corroding. And so the corrosion will eventually weaken the metal, and if it's something important, like a main landing gear wheel, it could damage the aircraft. So we took it into a blasting cabinet where we shoot little plastic media beads at the paint with enough air pressure to remove the paint. It's a very lengthy process, took about an hour and a half just to do one. When I get the other half done, we're going to send it over to NDI. They're going to inspect it, make sure the wheel is still good. If it is still good, we're going to bring it back here to this room and we will paint it. Here part of corrosion itself. It would have to be the physical act of painting. It is um, very satisfying in the sense that it is the last step of most repairs, not all of them. But the physical act of using a spray gun and putting the paint on the part, making it look really good, it's a very satisfying process. Uh, it's a lot of sweating, it's a lot of work, but you know this is a very important job and I'm happy to do it. I'm happy to do my part. Corrosion happens to everything, and so the fight against it will be a fight that lasts for as long as we have machinery using metal. When equipment comes in deteriorated, we see that the paint is flaking off, that the metal is falling apart, the metal is coming off, the metal is in a, a state of going from an element to a compound, and it weakens the metal. So when we first get equipment in, we evaluate it to see how bad the corrosion is, then we go about the process of either blasting it or sanding it to get rid of the corrosion and then prepping it to be sprayed and uh, protected against the elements. So we have three different types of blasters. We have a walk-in blaster and two working cabinet blasters at the moment. And one of them is a glass blaster, which blasts uh, glass media. The other one is a plastic blaster, which blasts plastic media. And the walk-in blaster is also plastic media. And that removes the coatings aggressively, along with the corrosion. Sanding and painting are kind of the name of the game at LO, as well as down here. Uh, the cabinet blasters and the walk-in blasters are a new, a new tool that we haven't used before. Uh, a panel on a jet is a lot easier, in my opinion. Age equipment is very 3D, lots of curves, bends, corners, little nooks and crannies that all need to get primed and top coated. Mainly stands is the majority of our work, but trailers, munition carts, tow bars, anything and everything that they would want, they're repainted, sanded, blasted, we work it. Corrosion isn't just an AFSC on its own, it's an extra duty to our AFSC. So corrosion is filled with two different AFSCs at the moment, which is sheet metal and LO. The kind of equipment we support down here will be age equipment and basically any equipment that supports the mission. It makes me feel important that I have such an impactful role in a mission because without the support equipment in optimal shape, the mission will be degraded. The most enjoyable part of my job is being able to see the transformation from equipment coming in being deteriorated to this new state, which will last in a couple years. The corrosion control facility here at McDill is part of the 6 Main Squadron. We are responsible for replenishing and refurbishing air ground equipment as well as aircraft parts. And taking away corrosion from this high corrosive area. So something that um, some people don't know about our career field is that uh, we're basically like the body shop of the aircraft. So we do mess with a lot of uh, metal, paint, as well as Gerber stickers, and uh, just fully refurbishing them. So parts will come in here used, and by the time it gets out, it looks like brand new. Some of our day-to-day -day duties include repainting aircraft parts or age equipment, as well as our Gerber uh, stencil equipment, where we're able to have stencils laid out for the aircraft. So something unique about uh, McDill Air Force Base over here at Corrosion is that we do live near um, the Gulf of Mexico, uh, so salt water content here is high. So the amount of workload 
um, for our aircraft parts or our H equipment is a lot higher compared to other bases. Our mission is important because ultimately without us, our aircraft would succumb to corrosion and not have the capabilities that we have now to support the mission. The job title is Aircraft Structural Maintenance, but this building and this job specific is Corrosion or Paint Barn. So we maintain the coating integrity of the aircraft, all the call signs and stickers and identification markings on the plane itself. So if we have a plane in, it will start with a sanding of the plane and then the plane will get washed off and then we will paint the plane. So if we don't have a plane, a lot of times we will get individual parts from either phase or ISO or from the flight line or back shop. And when those come in, we will paint them to match or completely strip them down and repaint them. The main plane we work on is the A-10, but we also cover C-130s and helos. For the mission and for Davis Motham, we keep the planes in the sky. They have to be coated to be fine. They can't fly bare metal. Our shop covers a lot of bases and other shops on base. We deal with multiple airplanes and we also do some age stands and carts as well. This job's pretty fun. It's a, it's a lot. It's fast paced most of the time, but it's very rewarding. We're protecting the integrity of the aircraft by keeping the coating system properly applied and maintained. It helps keep the planes in the air so other career fields can do their job.